Okay, back in the studio testing out AI tools. Today we have Rightly AI. And I'm going to sign up as always, get into this and see where it takes us. Okay, I signed up. One thing, the sign up does require a phone number. Um, my guess is that's just to verify that you're a human because there was a CAPTCHA after that, CAPTCHA after that as well. That was fairly extensive. A little uncomfortable about providing phone numbers in um, signups and there was no language saying, you know, what it's used for. But anyway, basically uh, going into Rightly here, this is a pop-up tutorial that's walking me through and let's just um, get into it. All right, so I am basically gonna try to write an article and um, let's see, I'm gonna say uh, using generative generative AI for market research. Obviously misspelling stuff like crazy. Um, I'm gonna pre-populate it, just do a free flow of thoughts here and see what it does. Okay, so I just put a statement in here. Market research traditionally has been especially of analyst firms and management consulting firms. It can be costly and time consuming. New and emerging generative AI tools are, not is, are democratizing research. Okay, so I guess now I just go up here and click right and uh, kind of interested to see what where it goes and how much. Um, okay, it's... Uh, Just reading this. Uh, simply undo or rewrite. Okay. Um, uh, it's interesting. It just kind of stopped a a after these. Um, let, let me just catch up with what it wrote here. Okay. So it basically took my idea up here, framed it, added much better context and language, quite frankly. And it ended with these as the first word of a sentence that didn't finish. So I'm just going to click right again and see if it picks up where it left off. Okay, it is uh, picking up where it left off. Um, it's now going on to tell me about the ways in which market research can be conducted. Um, I'm gonna pause while this finishes building it out. So if I've had to prompt it to write, and, and what I'm guessing, the, as we go further into this, this is getting a little bit more diluted um, and, and not specific. So I'm gonna try to reprompt it by writing a couple of lines that might retarget it a little bit and see where we go from there. Okay, so this, um, I've added some more uh, words here, basically saying in terms of how generative AI is making market research more accessible to more people, AI can serve as a proxy for different customer personas. You can query various AI platforms to write up industry reports. And there are several more ways AI is powering the market market research such as, and there I ended it. So I've tried to retarget it onto talking about specifically AI generative market research. Let's see if that produces, oh, oh so I've run out of my daily trials. Uh, it's asking me to upgrade. So I think this is a, this is really interesting. It, this is a better uh, user interface, I think, than just going into chat GPT, although you can do this sort of thing in chat GPT. Um, just having a nice blank canvas here, it looks more like a, a writing platform than a prompt window. Um, you can export this into a PDF or Word doc directly, which is really nice. You can expand or shorten um, this in some way. Again, I've ran out of this, so you can expand the words, expand the, uh, uh, the treatment of this. You can shorten it as well. You can rephrase certain things. And then of course there's an advanced, um, tab over here to help really uh, structure and inform the AI assistant as to what output you're trying to create. So this is Rightly AI. Uh, I wish I could spend more time with it, but hopefully you get the gist. A really interesting writing tool. And uh, in the opening, it says that it's not 100% plagiarism free, um, but it certainly is very close and they will be embedding a plagiarism protection in it so it won't be drawing from other works and we won't get into plagiarism problems when using rightly.